Next up on the live stream studio, Lisa Torino, the senior manager for innovation and R&D for Ocean Spray Cranberries. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm great. Here, you've great got a bag full of stuff. Yep. You know what? There's nothing wrong with actually saying uh, coming from Whole Foods. So we'll, keep, we'll get, have your bag up here. <laughs> well. we'll. Pull all this out. How's your BevNet Live going? BevNet Live is doing great. You guys do a great job. It's so awesome to be here. And, you know, with all of these inspiring new bubbling entrepreneurs, it's incredible um, experience for now, for us to be here and to, to see what's going on. Now, I love and I've always loved the Ocean Spray brand. Um, and it's really cool to see you guys here. Um, this is your new sparkling water. Is, would you call it a sparkling water line? I would say it's a sparkling juice beverage. Spar okay, sparkling, sparkling juice beverage. Sparkling juice drink, yep. And we have um, three that are in our cocktail version that's more close to home. Okay. And then a light version that's sweetened with, with stevia. It's at 10 calories, one gram total sugar, zero added sugar. And, um, you know, it's it's modernizing the brand. Think of it as the rosé of cranberry. Okay, I like um, that. So if you think through uh, what millennials are looking for, Gen Z, a lighter, more refreshing experience with bubbles. Yep. And, um, you know, I think the product here is really delivering on that. So. I mean, well, that's one of the things I wanted to talk to you about. I mean, you mentioned uh, you're here at the event. And uh, if you're not uh, here, you're watching on the live stream. And... You know, Ocean Spray is an interesting spot because there's such a recognized brand um, and such sure. a great legacy brand. Sure. Um, folks like me, who's like, you know, I'm, I'm like 28, 29 years old. I, I'm really not, folks. <laughs> um, uh, but, but for folks who are that you age, look good. thank okay. you very much. Thank you, Lisa. You do it. You wear it well. <laughs> for, but for folks who are that age, those millennial consumers, those Gen Z consumers who may not necessarily be as familiar with Ocean Spray, sure. you know, what do you? How are you? How is the company innovating to those consumers? How are you trying to reach those consumers? I mean, uh, is it is it things like these right here? Is it these sparkling juice beverages? Yeah, I think we're building a bridge to those consumers and reaching the different moments in their lives, and you know, really getting integrated into their lifestyle and bringing the health and wellness of cranberry. It's such a powerful superfood um, with its antioxidants, polyphenols, uh, fiber content. The seeds themselves have a great fat profile with omega-3s and omega-6s. So it's really, really great for, for you. Um, but also, I would say that, you know, we're, we're approaching our portfolio in three ways. You know, first and foremost, we're, we're looking at our core consumer and evolving it with them, but staying true to them. Right. Um, and then expanding the portfolio into new territories. And right now, the sky's the limit. I think we have some, some great leaders and some great teams involved on the innovation side to, to make that transition and build the bridge to some really innovative, really exciting products. Lastly, it's telling our authentic story of we are owned by 700 plus farmers. Yeah. So we are we are a brand that is a cooperative, and it's bringing farms to family for a better life. And uh, we really believe that we can do that with these new products and tell that story in a very real, authentic way to to the next consumer. Yeah. You said a lot there. Let's break some of it down. Sure. The cranberry as a functional ingredient, the cranberry as uh, a nutritious ingredient, um, something that could get lost in the mix. Um, sure. You know, how do you make that claim? How do you how do you really enhance cranberry status as a superfruit? Yeah, so it's you know it has a lot of heritage with the indigenous peoples of North America. Um, they've used it as medicine. It, it has a great lore, a great history behind. How is it, it used as medicine? Um, I believe what they did is they put it onto wounds uh, oh, really? to help with its healing and and to keep away some of the the bugs that might happen when you when you get a cut so hmm. uh, you know getting away those microbes but um, so it has a history of, in food as medicine and a really great romantic story there um, and then bringing it forward through those farmers and the families um, that own the company I think it's just it's just a beautiful story generation to generation to bring that powerful health and wellness message forward um, with a lot to back it up I mean, is, is some of that storytelling, I mean, is it most effective through, say, an Instagram? I mean, are you using traditional advertising, traditional marketing vehicles, or is it more that social media route that's become so popular? Sure. I think the, especially important for millennial and Gen Z, I mean, they're used to, there are many to many community, really used to getting things in a digital format, something where it's frictionless, it's integrated into their life. So we're going to be, um, you know, 
for sure, as, as others are doing, positioning ourselves to, to be in that space and to talk to our consumers in different moments, whether it's more of a digital approach, a grassroots approach, um, you know, and continue to service our loyal customers, but at the same time, get, reach out to those new consumers in those new formats. Mm -hmm. uh, your focus is innovation and R&D. It is. Um, We've seen a lot today at, at BevNet Live. Sure. And uh, I don't know, did you catch the showdown, the New River showdown this morning? I, I was front and center for the showdown. <laughs> I love watching. It's so it's so inspiring and very energizing to see these entrepreneurs put themselves yeah. out there and what they're bringing to the table. Totally, totally. It's um, You get two minutes to give your best pitch to you know wear your heart on your sleeve, and it's, it's very difficult. And you know, kudos to those folks. Um, they came out with a lot of innovative products. You know, the 12 uh, semifinalists, you know, we saw a ton of innovation there. Um, you know, what can you take? And I know you said, you, you know, you came to the show looking for uh, some of the innovative concepts that are being showcased here. You sure. know, what can Ocean Spray learn from some of these uh, younger brands? Yeah, I love how some of um, the showdown uh, finalists and competitors were bringing forward um, their story in a very tangible way. They were communicating it well through um, whether it was their, their visual, their packaging, their, um, their pitch. Uh, I would say using some new and innovative ingredients to bring that health and wellness along for the consumer, but also having some really um, tangible things to hold on to. So I, I wonder if it's it's a strategy for us going forward to, mm -hmm. to, to dabble with some new ingredients and new flavors, new trends yeah. um, to, to modernize along with it. Now, um, you, you've you launched a bunch of new beverages, or Ocean Spray has launched a bunch of new beverages. I think I was at the NAC show uh, I think it was last year, and it was a, there was a mixer product that you guys launched, and it was yep, a, mocktails. Yeah, the mocktails. Excuse me, the mocktail products, which looked really good. Again, these are new, um, but I wonder about uh, the cranberries as an ingredient and Ocean Spray as a supplier to brands. Sure. Uh, you know, how much of a focus is that for the company? Are you looking to sell companies juice concentrate or juices or berries themselves? Yeah, it's it's for sure focus. Um, we do have a, a CPG arm that you see some of the new products here in front of you. But and I'm going to open one of these up because I can't wait any longer. would be great. Yep. Okay. Go ahead and try it. But we also have an ingredients business. And you're right, we are in a bunch of moments and uh, different brands. And you know, we are, we're a key supplier for many of those other companies that you see out there in the world. Anywhere there's cranberry, there's a pretty good chance that we're part of it. So um, we, we love that. We want to continue that and celebrate it um, and bring it forward in a, with that, that health and wellness focus. Um, this is really good, by the way. It, and you mentioned earlier that it's made with uh, stevia and a little bit of erythritol. Yep. I can't really taste too much of it. You guys did a really good job with this. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah. We, we had a great team working on it, and they really, they really found that sweet spot and ratios and did a lot of R&D to get there. So thank it's, you for that. It's great. Where is it sold? So we'll be, we'll be in market in the first half of 2019. Um, we're at first going through e-com, so look for it on Amazon pretty soon. And, uh, you know, we'll see, we'll see it in, in other spots, I'm sure, as quick as we can get it out there. I will say that for this product in particular, we had our first pink cranberry harvest in September, and we are celebrating that with this pink launch. And I noticed bringing, you're wearing a pink jacket. I am. I'm living the brand. You're it's on one trend. of our values is to live the brand. So absolutely. And if pink foods are trending, pink beverages. Um, and also there's a purpose with this. Uh, if you see on the side of the can, there's, you know, we support the National Breast Cancer Foundation. So 5% of our, our sales will go to, go to that cause. So we, we want to integrate that in and, and be purpose driven as well. Fantastic. Uh, we've got a little less than a minute left, but you mentioned e-com, yep. which I want to get into real quick. Uh, we hear uh, from so many entrepreneurs that e-com is such a valuable resource for consumer insights or getting feedback on your brands. Has that been the case for Ocean Spray? Has that been the case for you? Are you gleaning a lot from those sales? Yeah, I think it's an alternate channel and for sure the trends and where consumers are shopping, it's changing. And we want to adapt with that. And I believe that it's it's a great way to incubate. It's a great way to see and test the waters. And um, 
I think that you know entrepreneurs are absolutely spot on. It's it's somewhere they should start with and um, see how it goes. It's it's absolutely a, a great strategy. Fantastic. Are you based out of Lakeville, Mass? Yes, I am in. I am in Lakeville. You guys are around the corner. We're we should, in Watertown, we Mass. Visit you, more often. Or you visit? Actually, no. You we should come visit to you guys. Come to the bog. We should get the waiters on. We're we're, we're going to do that. I'm going to hold you to that. All right. This Fantastic. time next year. All right. For sure. Lisa, this has been great. Thank you so much for taking the Pleasure. time. I Thank really, you, really Ray. appreciate. It.